All right. So today we're going to go over kind of, you know, this crazy, crazy August market. Uh, we're going to talk about some of what the media is talking about. Uh, we're going to do a quick, you know, call out for help, which uh, we're going to get into. But first, make sure you subscribe, share the link, click the little bell so that uh, you're aware of when we go live every single week as you get the real time market information that will help you make the best business decision for when the time is right. Or if you know of somebody who's looking at buying or selling a home, hey, share the video. This way they get good information. They know what's going on. It's, it's not the nationwide stuff. It's local and it helps you and your friends make a better decision. All right. So with that, and before we get into our market update, here's our little bit of call out. So I've been working i uh, doing landscaping, which I absolutely hate, but uh, you know, we bought a piece of property right behind our house because we didn't want somebody to build a house there. And well, we happen to call it Jamie's world, which is convenient because well, my, not, my wife's name is Jamie. So super convenient, right? All right. So, you know, we didn't, I've been following some trees and clearing and doing all that. And of course, you know, bringing in about 40, 50 yards of topsoil and putting in sprinklers and you know, 30 yards of crushed rock and things like this. Okay. Well, during this, my, my knee uh, is getting a little, well, it's a little irritated. It's a little painful. And of course, Jamie is a physical therapist, which you would think would be mighty convenient. So of course, you know, I go in after, you know, my 40 yards of topsoil and 30, whoa, 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 30 yards of crushed rock and moving all this around. I'm like, oh, Baby girl, look at, look at my knee. Holy smokes. And she stands there and she looks at and she says, yeah. Yeah, you got nurse maid's knee. I went, she says, yeah, you have nurse maid's knee. I said, nurse maid's knee, that, that's not even manly. That, that's gotta be something, you know, for a girl. What is a dude? You know, what is, you know, what is, what is it for a dude? You know, what does he got? You know, it's gotta be something like, you know, like running back knee or, or, you know, airborne jumper's knee or something more exciting. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. And she's like, no, no, it's nursemaid's knee. I said, hey, listen, I can't go to my buddies, right? So if we rewind this and we say, okay, think about your Friday beer commercial where the, the ranch hands, you know, they're coming, you know, because I was doing landscaping, right? The ranch hands are coming in from, you know, uh, rousting and, or, you know, gathering up all of the, you know, the livestock and whatnot and, or, you know, you got the contractors out in the sun, you know, and it's blazing hot and it's dusty as it has been, uh, you know, and they come in, they get that, uh, they get that manly thing and they get their beer and whatnot. Okay. All right. There, there's your picture, right? So I'm going to go over to my dudes, right? I'm going to go to my buddies. And I'm going to say, oh yeah, whoa, whoa. We got, uh, I've been out working and there's my knee is, that's why it's uh, so tender. I can't play football with you guys. And they're like, well, what'd you do to your knee? And I'm like, oh, I've been landscaping, you know, in Jamie's world, right? And they're like, no, oh, that's cool. And, you know, I've been moving, you know, instead of 40 yards, you know, obviously now it's gotta be like 80 yards of topsoil and, and like 40 yards of, you know, crushed rock. And they're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, my knee is, you know, Jamie, and, you know, and she says, I've got nursemaid's knee. And they'll go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. And of course, to prove the point, I got my buddy Francois, who's been staying with us for a couple of weeks, and and uh, he's from France. And of course, he walks in when Jamie says, "Yeah, I hate to tell you this, but you know, you got nursemaid's knee." And he walks in, puts his hands on his hip, and says, "Oh, can't do his French accent." Is oh, nursemaid's knee, huh? And I'm like, "Well, that's what she says." And he, he, <laughs> he gives that laugh, turns and says something in French, which I'm sure is challenging the veracity of my manhood, right? Because we're manly men doing manly things in a manly way. So the shout out is, I need a better name for my knee other than nursemaid's knee. That's my shout out. All of you dudes out there, I know you're gonna help me out. Post it, because I can't, I can't go around saying I have nursemaid's knee. That is just wrong. Anyway, it's not manly. Let's get on to the market update. Okay, so remember back in, March, April, right? We started to say that our numbers, as far as total number of homes available, total number of new homes coming on market is going to start to balance out between 2021 and 2020. 
because 2019 was a completely different market. 2020 was an, a, a record setter in so many different ways. And 2021 is continuing that, that, that momentum, okay? That, that forward progression of setting the number of sales records and whatnot for limited inventory because it's crazy, crazy. All right, in my 27 years of practice plus, uh, I have never experienced a market quite like this, ever. At least, especially with this duration, uh, which is very amazing. Okay, so when we started saying, we'll start to see the total number of homes available start to balance out. So instead of saying, oh, we have, you know, 54% of the, the homes available for sale today than what we did a year ago, okay? That was 2020, 2019. Anywhere from 48 to 52 percent less homes available year over year. Now, when we start taking a look at it, because we already drew down that inventory, right? And Marie will post this. But as we look at it, so the light green are homes available, and dark green are sales. And you can see how our inventory is super low, and it continued in that downward trend, which is a normal cycle that we have seen other weeks. And as you can see, this is, you know, normal where inventory is normally higher, but it's been drawing down and has been doing so, uh, you know, really since about March, April, April, May of last year, 2020. Okay. Now that means that as we start looking at crazy market to crazy market, things are going to be a little bit more balanced. So keep that in mind. So the media is saying, in fact, I was reading a, a report today. It says, yeah, Normally August is our hottest month. It seems to be slowing down. We have, we have, uh, you know, 3.8% more homes, you know, on market than, you know, what we did before. Uh, we think we're seeing a market shift for the buyers. And I said, what? <laughs> you and I are in a different market must be because here's the facts. Let's take a look at the facts. All right. So if we take a look at month over month, and year over year, and then the same month, 2020 versus 2020, uh, 2020 versus 2021. There we go. All right. So year over year, our inventory is still 11.7% down. Remember, it's no longer going to be the 52 to 53 because we're comparing crazy market to crazy market, right? So expect this number to get single digits. We have been drilling down on this and forewarning you for, well, since April. Okay. New on market is up 13.4%. Pendants are up 12.9. These two are almost inherently always matching each other because there's such a massive pent up demand of buyers out there and why we are still seeing multiple offers. And if our market wasn't doing so great, uh, how did our time on market, which is now down to six days, which is 33% less because it used to be roughly about 12, 13 days last year. And before that was in the 24 to 33 day range. That was 2019. Pendant are up 12.9% and year over year sales are up 22.6%. That's almost 25%. Okay. Well, if last year was a crazy market and we're exceeding that from last year, that is continuing. We're still in a crazy market. Now, when we take a look at it the same month, okay, same month. So when we take a look at it, Listings are down at 11.7. That's a given, right? Uh, new on market is up 9.5%. Pended is up 4.1%. Sales are up 7.9% for the same month. Okay. All right. So that means that we are still outperforming for the most part last year. When we take a look at month over month, and this is what people are saying, oh, market's changing. And I go, whoa, no, it's not. Our inventory month over month is up 28.7%, which is awesome because a lot of that was new on market, but look at our pendant. Our pendant are up 24%. We are, we are exceeding. We are, we are meeting the, 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 the new inventory that is coming on. We're like that dry sponge. We are just soaking up that water and it is just absolutely taking it all. And then some, how do we know this? We come down here. We had in the last seven days, 1,632 homes that came on market just in the last seven days. We had 2,092 of them that went pending and we would close 1,552 homes just in the last seven days. 
Okay, well that's still pretty staggering when you consider we have 1,600 homes coming off, we have 200, you know, 2,000 of them coming off. I don't, I don't think we're slowing down. That, that's not the sign of a slowdown. That's like a, it's not even a yield, <laughs> not even a yield. That's like, get out of my way. <laughs> I'm coming. All right. When we take a look at the 3.8% that you saw in the media, I want you to know that's 133 homes. That's it. Okay. And that's a month over month. Okay. So people are saying, all right, George, you said that the market was going to, you know, was going to pick up and it did. Uh, versus, you know, the normal slowdown that we saw just before school went out. And you're saying that you, uh, what is this? I prevent any misuse, temporary restrict the ability of the future of Facebook. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right. So I don't know what that little was, but that was kind of weird. Anyway, so uh, what we've got then is a, a momentum of, of homes that are still coming on market and more are going off market. And we were talking about the seasonality of where is it, where are we going? Okay, so if we are going through and taking a look at what we're gonna do for the, we will call the into the fall, okay? School's gonna start this year, students are gonna get back in again. Our normal season is about the, the, the latter half of August. Buyers start pulling back, okay? Sellers start pulling back too, but people's focus is not on homes because we have people getting back in school. We have last minute vacations, uh, you know, the fall and the cold weather is coming. So everybody's, uh, you know, their mindsets, I got to get my last summer vacation. I got to do my last thing. All kinds of stuff happening, okay? And it is normal until, you know, the tail end of September, first part of October, before our market picks back up again and then starts to uh, wane again about the second week of December. Okay, normal. Sure, we didn't have it last year. Okay, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist because we felt it this year uh, as kids were getting out of school and mindset started changing. Uh, they, re they removed the COVID restrictions, so people went out and did things. Okay, but we're still moving along. We are still rocketing forward. Okay, but I expect a little bit of a slowdown. I'm not saying they're going to put on the brakes. I'm just saying there's going to be a little bit of a slowdown, and we're going to realize and feel a little bit more, and we're going to see that in the media and whatnot, and they're going to try and make something a little bit more about it, which is fine, whatever. Okay, the key is... As we are continuing with our market trends, this is going to continue to happen and primarily because of this, okay? So mortgage rates, fourth week in a row. Par pricing, 2.875 for 30-year money, 20% down. Seven and one arms are still at 2.125. And you've got uh, non owner occupied at 3.625. All right, so we've had a number of folks that are, that are now re-engaging like Rohitha and Dohani and they're like, hey, we need to, we need to re-engage because now this is starting to make more sense. Awesome. I agree with that. And as much as people looking at homes, uh, and whatnot, uh, you know, are not finding what they want, like Sanjiwa and his wife, they're like, well, maybe building a home is a better idea. And I'm like, well, you no, know, we got to wait for lumber prices to balance because right now it's, it's, it's cheaper to buy an existing building than it is to build. Sorry. It depends on where lumber pricing is at and everything else. And right now it's still crazy high along with labor. May not be the best plan. Keep an eye out. And during that time, if something doesn't work out, then we talk about new construction. We talk about other alternatives, including off-market homes. Okay. As we go through and we start taking a look at what the mortgage rates are doing, which is a major driver for us, plus a limited amount of inventory. Hey, our market is going to continue like this all the way till this time next year. That is my prediction. Interest rates are going to bobble around a little bit. We are going to see a little bit of an adjustment depending on, well, hey, inflation numbers came in lower than what they expected. So we're going to continue down this path until something else changes. What will that be? Well, uh, something catastrophic in the market, something catastrophic in the world, uh, and well, that's probably the only two things that are going to have a massive impact. I don't see anything else that is that uh, is in our immediate future that is going to have a significant impact uh, on what we're doing. 
supposedly. We'll just keep firm to that one. All right. So all things considered, we are doing incredibly well. Summer activities. There's a lot of things going on. Hey, uh, we do a lot of camping. If you're looking uh, for places to go to and whatnot, hey, reach out to us. We'll give you some really great options. Uh, Marie's going to post some summer ideas, including REI's how to uh, get, you know, acclimate your kids to camping, ideas for camping and things like that, which is a lot of fun. Uh, many of our clients have been uh, sharing posts and information on that, so we're sharing some information back. Uh, if you are interested in uh, concerts, hey, don't forget to check out St. Michelle's Winery. We're going to post that one. Uh, a lot of them, which were scheduled in 2020, have already sold out. Well, they say they're sold out, but because they were booked back in 2020. But there are some that are still available now, like Josh Groban, if you're a Josh Groban fan or whatnot. Uh, with that, there's also the uh, Whiskey and Wild Bites at the zoo. I thought for sure at that point when I read that, I thought, oh, oh, oh that bear that was giving me guff is not on the plate. All right, I guess it's something normal. But anyway, just kidding. Uh, there's a lot of things like that. There's uh, bacon, eggs, and kegs is a uh, another, it's just a little fun little gig to go out to. Uh, with that, there's also the uh, Poverty Bay Brews and Blues Festival. If you're a blues fan, hey, that is a great, great symposium. Uh, Marie will post all of those links as far as summer things to do. In the meantime, you guys have a beautiful day. Please write down what should be a dude's whoa, whoa, name for nursemaid's knee. We can't, we can't have that. There's got to be something better. Anyway, with that, have a beautiful weekend. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.